everyone, it's Shamila here. Um, just want to find myself on Facebook. This is an unannounced live. Um, I thought I would share with you guys my thoughts on the new Stamperia dye ink pads. So I think there's about 11 colors available at the moment. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we, we incorporated or we purchased all the colors um, and we have them in stock I see one person there hi there and I've got load shedding at the moment so I thought I will just do a quick live why is my comments not coming up so I also brought in only three of these brushes from Stamperia because they're not cheap. They are a little bit on the expensive side. And I also brought in a pack of these little blending sponges so we can see how they differ between what is currently available in South Africa. What I have in my stash is the ones from iCraft. Um, and I'd like to do a comparison. The first thing that I like about the Stamperia blending brush is that the the brushes or the yeah the bristles are um, are white, so you can actually see what the color that you've got on your brush. Apparently, these are washable. I have not used mine yet, and it comes with a little cover. I don't know if that what justifies the additional cost of the brush, but yeah, I like the fact that there's a cover on here. The next thing is we also need to see how it works. So that's what I'm going to do today. Then, by the way, these little daubers, there's three in a pack. They retail or they will retail for approximately 160 Rand. And so they are not cheap. But all Stamperia products aren't cheap. Um, I also want to do a comparison with these to the ones that I currently have. Because I know the ones that I have at the moment, they tend to disintegrate rather quickly. On first impression, Stamperia's one has its own little cover. And feels very similar, but we shall see. I like the fact that there's a cover because now it doesn't get mixed up and... Um, it doesn't get, um, if you have it in a door or you're traveling with it, it doesn't leave marks on all your um, projects or your stuff that you've got in your bag. So, I just want to grab another dauber that I have here. I should have been more prepared, but I'm not. So, where are they? Right. This is a comparison. Let me see if I have a new one. Okay, that one is fairly new. So we've got the two side by side. And the Stamperia one is slightly smaller. I would love to see how the sponge... Okay, it feels a lot softer and more pliable than the... Um, I'm not sure which brand this one is. So I'm not going to mention a brand because I don't know where it comes from. But this is one that I've used already. That's from iCraft. I can't get these ones anymore. They've been discontinued. But this one has already started to disintegrate on the top. Right. Then we've got the ink pads. And I'm going to open them so that we can actually see what the colors are like. Because I think a lot of times... Hello, Alta. Long class word. I still have your parcel. Don't worry. It is safe. I haven't sold it to anybody else. So the first color I'm opening up is called the raspberry. Let me just move this to, to the side. We're going to go through them all. And my plan for this year, hold thumbs that it actually works out for me. Because you know what you have in your head and what actually transpires is always two different things. So um, I'm just going to grab some stamps here while I'm at it. I should have taken it out before, but yes, I did not. So, okay, let's go with this one. This is a stamp from All and Create. It is, I love the stamp because for art journaling, 
it's number 349 fortunately all and create is currently available in south africa really cool that it is because i love their products um for the simple reason that you get a whole lot of different things in in one pack look at that one i mean so cool all these different elements i love it but anyway i digress so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and stamp with it so that we can see how the ink pad stamp uh, these are supposed to be blending inks so very similar to um to tim holtz inks so let's see how it stamps i'm not even going to load this onto a onto a block because then i'm gonna have to look for it so oh wow that's a really cool color so it stamps beautifully um i like that and then let's just use the brush so we can see how the brush works i'm gonna use the iCraft brush first so we can get a comparison now these brushes for me i really like for for blending um, not necessarily for edging for edging i actually prefer the little daubers or the or the other little blending tools um, but for blending onto cardstock it really works very well now look how nice that looks let's see how the the stamperia one fares up so I must admit that it blends a lot smoother. Um, just look at the blend. That's iCraft. That is the Stamperia one. So there is a difference in the bristles. Definitely a difference in the bristles. You can see this one. Let me lift it. A little bit blotchy. That one very smooth. Um... I have a makeup one that you can I think this one I bought off take a lot so let's see how the makeup one works the makeup one actually works very similar to the to the stamperia one the only thing is with the makeup one the the bristles tend to get all cloggy. Can you see there? So let me show you. The bristles get a bit cloggy. But the result is very similar. I really like how this feels in my hand. Okay, so let's do a comparison with the little finger dauber. Um... I like these for edging, for using, um, I can't seem to pick up my comments today, I'm sorry, so if you're commenting and I I'm not replying, I don't know where it is, it's just gone, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so this is just the normal little dauber, now you can see the difference in the color that you get between the dauber and, and the brush, that is why I like the the dauber for for edging so let's go and see so these little daubers three for approximately 169 very difficult to determine what the actual landing cost will be uh it's very dependent on what the shipping is and what the what the duties are etc but blends very nicely Okay, so you can see how lovely you can actually layer your, using just the same color, you can actually layer color very nicely on there. So I'm going to try and layer more color over the top there. And this is very nice for, for your art journal pages if you want to just create a very quick background. So this color I'm using at the moment is the raspberry. It's a really nice, very, very nice color. And so I am just going to 
stamp over it oh that is lovely the combination is I'm gonna go in here with a with a stamperia brush just to darken that one on top there oh this color blends nice What I like about, you see, there's a very big difference. Well, I mean, in terms of colors, not in terms of the formula, because I think the formula with this ink pad and with the distress inks is probably very similar. But what I like about it is that they have the color range is a little bit different to what we have in the distress range. And I think that is the reasoning behind the colors that we have in the in the um, the dye ink range from Stamperia is that it's not similar to um, to the distress range. They could not come out with the same colors because that would just be boring, isn't it? So water reactive. It's supposed to be water reactive. So let's spray some water. I can't dry it with my heat tool because I got no power at the moment. But I'm just gonna roll my little roller towel over it to absorb most of the oh wow that's cool i like that a lot so if you just had to cut this up and use it for a base on the card it will be really nice okay which color do you think we can put with the pink i'm gonna go with the cerulean blue this is another of the new colors i think um I'm just going to open that one and I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can just clean my brush on my, so I've never seen this color before. So, oh, that already looks interesting. Um, well, I just wiped my brush off on my roller towel and it seemed to be working fine. And we should get like a purple color if we mix these two. So let's see. Oh gosh, look at the stunning purple we're getting here. Look at that. Oh wow. Purple has to be one. Oh, oh, I touched there with my dirty fingers now. Purple has to be one of my favorite colors. Um, and pink. Maybe that's why I chose the pink one to start off with. Um, or the raspberry. That is a beautiful blend. It is stunning. I'm going to add more depth of color there. So now I have gone over my stamped image. And so that was the original color, tone on tone. This is with the turquoise covering the, um, the pink. I mean, yeah, the turquoise covering the raspberry. And we've got the letters have now turned into this most awesome color of like a mauvey color. And if we add more green to the center here, we are getting the most incredible color of purple. I think that is really cool. I love this. This is going to be one of my favorite colors. I can see it already. So let's do the edge also in blue and I'm just using the same dauber now because I I only have three so this is now tone on tone on the edge and like I said hi Natasha welcome we can see that you can create a darker edge with your with the same color just using two different methods or two different tools i should say i'm 
This blue is incredible. It is cool. I love it. Right. Look at that. And I'm going to, for uh, the sake of keeping everything constant, I'm going to put the blue around the whole piece. Because when I started, I had no idea what I was going to do. So this is me winging it. And I'm going to go in with my with my blending tool just to blend the edge a bit. So we can kill the, the def defined edge there. Oh, wow. I love that. That is so cool. Now, if we want to darken, because now we've got dark, this is the black shadow color. And I'm just going to take the black shadow and just create a dark on that side. Okay. Let's just blend it in with a brush. I don't want to get black on my new white brush, so I'm using the old one. There we go. I think that looks amazing. So now we can add some more background to that. And this is like really how you can play around getting, putting an, a page together, basically. Let me see if I have, I just want to check if I've got my stamper here, Stamp Sandy. This is what happens when you get organized in your craft. <laughs> you tend to not be able to find anything. Okay, what I can find is uh, the stamps from iCraft. So we're going to have to use those now. This is a lovely set because it's got beautiful elements. It has... Um, a set of flowers so we've got that flowers in there and then but what I love about it is and I cut these up so that it fits in my um, in my CD cases I store my my stamps in CD cases so this is what I love about it it's got a single flower with the bigger cluster um, but these are the elements that I really like that one so I'm going to just grab whatever, and that is the postcard one. I'm not even going to load it onto a, what you call it, because I'm kind of thinking whatever I get, I get. That's what mixed media is. I just stuck skew now, but that's okay. I'm not going to be too hard on myself. Let me see if I have, oh, I've got one here. Okay, we got a little block. Just put it skew. See how nice that is. That is really lovely. So, I would have loved to have had that. Which way is the right way now? I think it's that way. Oh, it's this way my eyes are not great people and with no lights it makes it worse and then I want to come in with with some of the pink as well so remember we're working tone on tone here And 
and maybe just some I'll probably need a fladdish or something okay here's a leaf from the same set we'll see how the leaf works um, I wonder what will happen if we add I think black is going to be too dark um, where is oh this was the other color burgundy so burgundy is a tone of the raspberry so I'm just gonna see how it looks I'll put it on the side so if it doesn't look nice oh that looks really lovely I like it I like it very nice Sharon I think the burgundy looks very good on you what do you guys say look at that and if this is going to be a card then you need a focal point so I'm gonna have to just scrummage in my stash here and see what I've got or we can use the flowers as a focal point but let me see maybe i've got some ready-made die cuts let me just move all my stuff out of the way because in the space of this short moment i have unpacked so many things already i've got some of vicky's die cuts And then I have this comes from the I've separated them into little packets because um, like with similar kind of things so let's see what we have there's a window a window is always nice that looks like a butterfly this is a little oh that's cute I like that. Okay, I'm just going to move this to one side. Those are options. Let's see what I have in the Vicky stash. Now, this can work with this for me for the simple reason that we've got some of the pinks in there, and the pinks are in there, and then turquoise or what color was that cerulean blue and greens come from the same tone family okay and then i want something in the middle so i'm probably going to use the teacups i'm just looking through all my goodies to see what i have uh it's a few smaller flowers if we have so maybe we can just add some flowers to the top there i would have loved to have some green stuff that's too big Okay, I think we got something going. So, these are Stamperia's die cuts. And if you struggle with fussy cutting, I mean, sorry, not die cut, the um, ephemera. If you struggle with, actually, I want to raise that slightly. If you struggle with fussy cutting, then these are perfect for you because they are already, um, now I can raise the flowers. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. They are already pre-cut. And it's got adhesive at the back. So if you, I'm just trying to get the adhesive off here. I, my eyes are so terrible. Where's my craft knife? Maybe this will be better. So if you can't fussy cut anymore, if you're finding 
issues with fussy cutting i'm even sorry i didn't bring some of the new hi debbie if um some of the new die cuts with me now this is from her first collection so let me just see if i can peel this off now you know why lighting is so important oh there we go i got it i got it so just peel off and stick uh, now i'm deciding do i want it in the middle yes so i'm going to go with it there i am going to add some leaves to that I'm just looking at the leaves to see if I can find because this is the bigger leaves might be a little bit too big for this actually I wasn't planning to do a project I was just gonna show you guys the um, the products and this is always how it happens eh? I get sidetracked but it's okay it's nice for you to see how to put the things together Sorry, just trying to get the backing off this one as well. Jeepers. And my room isn't dark, eh? It's fairly bright. How hot was it yesterday? Oh my gosh. I think the heat, I got it. The heat had me so bad yesterday oh gosh i really struggled um and so i'm gonna go with that thing but that one i want to raise slightly now remember if you're working in an art journal you can't go very dimensional um i don't mind my pages bulging because i like the dimension but if you don't want your pages to bulge, then by all means, stick them down flat. Okay, that one I'm going to glue down flat. If I can get the backing off. So ladies, all the new stuff except for one or two stencils from the latest range is back in stock. We received them. I'm so upset with DHL. It was in the country. But their system failed to generate a notification with the result we didn't get it in time for NSD. I was really upset about it. But you see, God plans better than us so I have to deal um but the welcome home is in stock except for a couple of things that we didn't get on time oh that one i also want to raise slightly so if you are interested in any of the welcome home things Cardin has got it at her. oh yeah she's collecting it on monday she'll have it at her shop what did i do with that flower now can you believe it i lost it I took the backing off and I put it down. I don't know if you can hear that, but my neighbors are having a party next door. I think it's the grandchild's birthday. So, sorry if that... Uh, I lost it. I really lost it. Is it that one? Can you believe it? This is typical, there's a black hole where everything disappears to the moment you go live. Okay, we'll choose a new one. I'll just go with this one. It's probably sticking to something and I'll find it when we, when we go off the air. Okay, we got that. And now we can add some shrubbery. It's 
So if you don't have these uh, ephemera pieces, I mean, you can use your punches, you can use, if you've got dies, you can cut out things with your dies. So there are lots of things that you can use. Um, that is slightly too big for my liking. I'm going to cut it in half. And out of one leaf, we will get two. How's that? And I've got this little thing here. I'm looking for smaller leaves. So let me just find something a little smaller. I've got a mixture of eye craft and the stuff in here in the same bag. Um, 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 um. I think I'm going to put that in there. It's not from the same pack. This is from the eye craft uh, papers. The pre-cut little goodies. But I don't need two. I just need one, I think. So I'm going to cut it. And I'm just going to pop that in there. And because I don't feel like opening the glue, I'm just going to load it onto a piece of foam tape. See, now I lost that piece again. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. It's time for new specs. When things like this start happening, then it's time for new specs. That's a sure sign that you need new specs. And there must be a butterfly around here somewhere. I'm going to make my butterfly perch on there, on the cup, the handle of the cup. And the tape I'm using is a one millimeter tape. So it is not, it's not too fat. So it will still be okay in your, um, in your journal and oh there's a little bird I think that little bird comes from the house of roses dies that little bird comes from house of roses and I have to open up my my glue because you know the die cuts from Stamperia is a little bit dimensional it's got um it's chipboard, really. The best quality die cuts I have ever, ever found. So, the bird. Come on. Little bird. And our little ladybug can fly. And there you go. So now all I need to do is either put this in my journal or uh, put it on the card front. It's as easy as that. And if you want to add dimension, um, I don't know if any of you still have. I paid 27 Rand 50 when I bought my liquid, liquid pearls back in the day. So don't forget your old stash. You know, they always come in handy. And for me, what finishes off my projects is all the little finishing touches that you can add to it afterwards. Let's see what else we have. Um, just looking in the drawer. Of course, we can always add... Um, the extra gloss finish regrettably this one has been discontinued until the designers requested to come back into stock i'm hoping that they will because for me this is one of the nicest products from stamperia i really love it 
um, it's a dimensional glaze. They've got the fluid gloss as well still, and they have a matte version. But I really like this one so much. And I have asked them to please, can you keep it on, on as a product? Because in South Africa, we love it. Maybe the rest of the world doesn't really like it much. I don't know. All the designers have decided that that is it. They don't need it anymore. So, my Crystal Clear from Paper Dishes, my favorite glitter of all time. I'm sold out at the moment and I need to get hold of them to actually order more. But, dimensional glitter, it is stunning. So, we're going to add a little bit to the butterfly. And to the little dots on the cup. And that is my bit of shimmer. And there we go. Those are, let's just go through the colors that I used. So we started off with the, the teacups, yes, they come from the ephemera pack from uh, Vicky's ephemera range. And they have an adhesive backing. So all Stamperia's ephemera has got an adhesive backing. And so you can decide whether you want to actually use it or not. Um, I will list the product codes in the, um, in the comments of this video after I'm done. Then it will make it easier for you to find. So we started off with the raspberry ink, which I think is a really beautiful color. It's got such lovely depth. And then just remember when you're adding tone on tone onto your projects, what it does is it fades into the background. So you can create layers upon layers upon layers on your projects and it's really, really nice. Then we used the cerulean blue, which I think is also an amazing color. And when you mix the two, you get the most vibrant color of like a purple, deep purple, very, very nice. And all we did was add stamping and elements to it. All the products that I've used today is locally available in South Africa. The Stamperia products, we try to keep almost everything that they have in stock, in stock. If we don't have it and it is still available at Stamperia, then we will order it in for you. Okay, so just remember that. I'm going to put this to one side and then we can look at the other colors because I totally got sidetracked with making something. Apologies about that. Okay, just looking for another background. Okay, there's another piece of card. So, which color next? I think the cream is going to be a really versatile color in the range because I think, or I haven't used it yet, so I don't know. But what my thinking is, if you stamp something and you have a focal point, but you want to actually create a background, how did you guys like the gift we gave our ladies at National Scrapbook? They see I'm digressing. Um, I have mine right here on my desk and it's holding all my things together. So really cool gift. The people have loved it. Oh, damn. My other scoreboard is somewhere else. So I'm just, I'm going to make a card front quickly. And it goes back into its holder. This thing takes up so little space. So let's do something with that. Uh, what did I do with that big stamp now? Did I put it away? I just want to make a focal point. Ah, here it is. So my thinking along the lines of the lighter shade is that it can be used as a um, as a background filler. So let me just stamp this, and I'm going to stamp the 
the flowers in a permanent ink, not in one of those, because I want, um, and I'm just going to use Memento. You can use any black permanent ink, Versafine, uh, stays on, whatever you've got in your stash. So let me just open that. And I'm going to stamp that. Okay. So we have a focal point. And if you wanted to color with these, you could. But my idea behind using um, the, the, the light color is you can stamp a background on your card. And I'm looking at my stamps to see if I have anything that I can use handy. Uh, what can I use? I need something that looks like a background. Okay. This is a very, 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 very old hero art script stamp. It's one of my favorites. Um, but what I, you know, you guys all know I love script. So let's see how light or how dark this is because I've never used it before. Yes, it's exactly what I thought it would do. So it creates a really nice background. And if you had, I do have one of those six by six um, script stamps from Stamperia, which is really cool. Not from Stamperia, from iCraft, because it covers the whole page. But this does the job. So now you've got um, a background. And what is going to be nice about this is if I want to color in that flower so let's do some coloring with the ink pad because you can also do that um, brush and water so i'm just going to add some some water i just put some on my craft sheet and I, I need to just check to see how dark the color is just give me a scrap okay it's really dark. So I'm just going to fill in the middle of the flower with that dark color. So like you can color in with your um, with your distress inks, you can also use your these ones for that. And because it's water reactive, whatever I have stamped on, it will just blend away. Take that away there. And so we can choose the yellow. So the yellow is warm yellow. And so I shall color my... just want to clean my brush and I'm just going to spritz it with water and just let it absorb the color absorb into my um, into my roller towel so and this is not watercolor pa uh, paper this is I might have used the wrong ink pad the memento one is for for um what do you call that stuff for alcohol blending not for water blending but okay it's already done so you can color with them and if i want to darken that center a little bit i'm going to use the raspberry let's see if it works getting a bit mucky now because it's got the memento ink my apologies i should have used my versafine rather but you see you can actually add color upon color i 
I will see how the burgundy looks. Oh, the burgundy might be nice. And this will work really well if you're using watercolor paper. So I don't have any handy at the moment. So it would have been great if I did. Because then you won't have the paper pulling up on you like it is now. And the effect will be so much better because the watercolor will absorb the, the colors but yeah you can color with it let's try um the leaves and do something in green now i feel like i need to do this on watercolor card stuff because i'm not getting what i want out of it um, green So the green is, this is the turquoise. There is a green. What happened to the green one? Did I not bring it? Oh, I forgot to bring the green one. So we're going to have to use turquoise. So let's pick up some water and just pick up some of the turquoise. Now what happens if you use watercolor paper, it absorbs and it runs. I want to see if I've got a piece of watercolor paper. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'll have to do a recap on this. I did have some somewhere. It's just not here at the moment. Um, and so... Just to add depth to that green, I'll have to use the blue, but there is a green one which I didn't bring. Sorry about the terrible coloring there now. But if you're using the right paper, then it will work beautifully. But what I wanted to show you was that the background just disappears over your focal point. So that is what is nice about using that as a background. You can overstamp, and I'm just going to do that so you can see. It will just like subtly disappear. So if you stamped in an area that you really don't want it to be very visible, then you can actually just use your water and make it go away. So that is that. And then, of course, you can blend with it. I'm going to just cut that piece off so we can reuse this piece of card. So I'm not wasting and I'm gonna have to use a different brush because I don't have another fancy I don't have another fancy brush so I'm going to this is a clean sponge so let's see which color have I got? This is the cream. It's more like a beige. But it makes a really nice base for something. 
So if you have no idea where you want to go with something, the cream is a nice base to start off with because with this one you can probably add any color you want to. I'm busy loading my photos for NSD onto a video slide so you guys will be able to see that soon. Um, let me see. We haven't done the blue navy yet. So let's grab the blue navy and see how this one looks. So I just need a new dauber. How bad my eyes is! I just dipped it into the, hey, into the lid. Oh, that's a nice color. Oh, that is a beautiful color. This will make such a nice background for midnight sky. Oh wow. And these dome foamies also work really well. Oh gosh, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning, stunning color. And what happens if we add some yellow to that? Some of the warm yellow. Um, see. I think I had warm yellow on this brush. Warm yellow is a lovely color as well. And I would have loved to have had an orange, eh? Oh, maybe this one. What will happen if we put this one in the middle here? Yeah. You know what happens with the dauber you get a, a deeper color the the brushes are nice for um for softer finishing but look at the difference when you add the when you add the color with the dauber wow I love it. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I got my fingers dirty there now, but oh, if I hadn't done that, how beautiful. And I'm going to see if I put the, that's a pink. I'm getting super excited now, so let me just grab a, a dauber for pink. I've got one here. Let's use the same tool. It's not straight. So I'm going to add the pink here. Actually, a finger dauber would be better. Let's use a finger one.
Oh, these colors blend so nicely. I love it. And I want yellow again at the bottom. So what did I use for yellow? I can't remember anymore. I'll just go with this brush. Now I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. Um, yellow. And maybe if we want to just add some extra depth to that top section there. I might be ruining it altogether now, I don't know. That's the black. Oh, show me now, you dummy. Sorry, man, my fingers are dirty. Damn it, I touched it now. Can I get it off? Okay, maybe we can make people walk in there. I don't know. Just clean my hands. In my excitement. Sorry about that. Ruin the friendship. Okay, and I'm going to blend that out with the with the dark navy again. What did I use for navy now? I don't even ah there we go. I use this one. So I'm just gonna go over the black and that with the navy to make sure that the colors are blending nicely so that we don't have like a we don't have a like a, a what do you call this now a, a line in the blend oh my gosh that looks so cool that looks so cool i love that except for my finger smudges it would have been amazing sorry about my finger mess but maybe we can stamp something on there and just hide it. Um, I wish I had people now. Let me just check in my drawer. I probably, I probably do have a stamp with people and I'll try and, and put it on there or animals or something and then we can... We can make something with it and finish it. But that is, I think, a really, a really cool blend. So we've got started off with, with the blue navy. And then, now remind me. Then it was, no, I lie. We started off with the base of the cream. And then we did the blue navy, right? And then I used the raspberry, which is there in the middle. Or I could have used the yellow first. You're going to have to rewatch the video because I was just missing. I don't remember. So, but that is the finished product. And I think it came out really cool. Just look at that. The blend is amazing. So very nice. And so now if you wanted to make little stars or whatever, where's my dauber? Let me put my top back because I got a thing for tops. If my tops disappear, then I'm very upset. Then I'm like, if the tops of my bottles disappear, then I almost like I don't want to use it anymore because the top is gone. So before that happens, let me just close my stuff up. So if you want to add like um, stars or something, you can just add some splatters, eh? So white paint. So we got Stamperia's Bianco white paint and I'm just going to mess on a piece of plastic because my, I actually have got a clean thing. So always admire people who can get this right first time 
and I think the brush I have might be a little bit too too fat. Just find something that's smaller. Let's try this one. Here goes nothing. I hope I'm not messing it up. Come on. I want small splatters, man. Let me just see if I have a fan brush. I do. Maybe the fan brush works better. I'm going to test it on my desk. Yes. Still too big. But. But you can add stars. And then you can add. Maybe I should have just done this in the first place, you know. The glitter thing would have been so much simpler and less messy. And it will sparkle way better. Oh, I should have waited for it to dry first. So what I'll do is, when that is completely dry, I'll just brush off the excess glitter and we'll have a shimmery sky. And I need to find something to camouflage my people. Or unless I YouTube it and see how to draw people, because I can't draw to save my life and then just put some, some figures in the background there. But yeah, I think that that blend is incredible. So, we'll just stamp out some of the colors so you can see what they look like. Just getting rid of my messy stuff quickly. Seeing that I've got what happened to that stamp now. Oh, yeah, it is. Seeing that I have this out, we can use this as a sample. So, the first one I'm using is the burgundy. beautiful rich tone like a wine red color and then I need to clean my stamp side because I don't want to contaminate my other ink pads just remember don't dip It was dry enough to take the yellow. Oh, the yellow is a beautiful color, really nice. And let's flip it. Pink is also very nice, like a soft rose pink. So I've got the yellow. I'm putting it to one side. I don't want to forget. So over the pink, I can put the raspberry because it's a dark color. So I'm not cleaning my my stamp in between. So 
so that's pink and raspberry and I will um, post a picture of these on on the on the video on the in the comments or I'll make a new post so you can see what the colors look like so that let me just grab another sheet Okay, this is a different card stock so i hope it's gonna work nicely on you as well so that's that and let's go navy blue because now i can put the navy over the over that raspberry i think the navy is a really nice color beautiful rich color and then over the navy I can put black I'm going to flip it and I hope I can get it in like that yes so that's navy and black and now we need to clean it again before we go on to another color with the light one again this is the cream oops don't come off oh it came off the it's not okay not too bad so that's the cream what do we still have We've got the turquoise. Oh, it has to be a great color. I love that turquoise. Okay. And then we can do... My cerulean blue might not be authentic because I mixed it with the turquoise now. So let's see what happened. Yeah, I don't think it's the right color. So let's just let's take all the color off there first. Oh, it's hot in my room, guys. No fan, no aircon, no lights, no power. Thank you, Escom. difference between turquoise and cerulean blue this blue is amazing i love it and so what's left i don't have the green one here i will do the green one and i'll post it as well because it's a grass green color the last one is the brown that i've got here why are you coming off And that's the brown this is coffee i love the coffee color so what i'll do is i will write the names below and i'll post pictures i'm not going to post this one this one looks terrible i'll try and redo that on watercolor paper and then you can see the proper difference and that was the first one we did and when this is dry it won't take long to dry now because oh it feels like it's dry already let me just brush off the excess goes to show how hot it is in here so there we go we've got our little i think the colors blend beautifully so yeah that is it from me guys um i'm not gonna come on screen because i don't have a scarf on and i probably look like a tomato <laughs> A very ripe tomato right now because it's so warm in this room but i hope that was useful and informative and if you want more of this kind of sessions let us know my plan for this year is time permitting because you know the time is something that we all suffer and struggle with 
um, is that to do just little focus product focus uh, videos so you can see what we have available in South Africa and how to use the product. So we need to do something with cream paste and the modeling paste and the crackle paste, this transparent crackle paste, this white crackle paste, these gold and silver crackle paste. There are so many different products in Stamperia and they are all artist quality grade. So the end product that you will have is going to be something really nice providing that your base you are working on is good this is a very typical example of it's not a product fail it's user error because i firstly didn't use the right ink pad secondly didn't use the right paper so you cannot expect to get good results if you're using the wrong kind of products together so i will redo this on watercolor paper to redeem myself um, and then I'll post the pictures of it and you can see what it looks like. So what is the time now? Eight more minutes, then my power goes back on and I can get cooking. <laughs> so thank you so much for sticking with me, guys. I hope you found it useful and informative. And that is it from me. Until next time, inky fingers and all. See you in cyberspace. Bye now.